Hey, you can look right through that coin wall. It's pretty cool. And today we're going to be playing a game where we have to collect the most bees. And let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's We, we play, play You Win. Win. Sherry and John here with a game that was suggested by channel member Gene S. It's a honeybee game. And John and I, we each have our own. John is a vegetable garden. I have a cute little flower bed. And Wait, I'm we, practical and you're, you're fun? Yes. And we each want to attract the most honeybees to pollinate our gardens before they go back to their hive. So there's a hive on the pusher shelf we want to get as many honeybees as possible before the hive makes it into the loot cam. Um, there are 11 honeybees, so if one of us makes it to six, we don't have to wait for that hive necessarily. And of course, there's a mystery bag on the front. Now, wait a minute, what's going on? Uh -oh. oh, it's it slid underneath the wall. This, this never happens. That slid underneath okay. the wall. There's a mystery bag. Uh, let's watch this and let's... Oh, okay. That was Ooh, quick. Let's watch it. this and let's... Oh, okay. That was Ooh, quick. I get a bee. I get a bee. I'm going to get You got more. a bee. How, how I did. did. You go ahead and you talk about the mystery bag. I'm all jazzed now. Uh, all right, folks. Stay tuned for the mystery bag question. Answered in a comment on YouTube within 24 hours of the video getting posted. Not Facebook. Not Facebook. Gotta be YouTube. You have YouTube. a chance of winning that mystery bag. Or you can visit WePlayYouWin.com for all the details. Oh, that's cool. Sherry got two bees. And she's already off to a quick start. This is awesome. We just okay. need six bees See, I got win. another bee, right? Yeah, you got two. Already pulled them. And here comes another nifty bee. Oh, I set John up though. Oh no, that one's up on top. This is a no. very productive turn, dear. You have to wait, you have to wait, you have to wait, you have to wait. Okay, give me my bees. They're right there, behind you. So I have to go spin around again. Well, yeah, they're I was going to show everybody, look at Oh, there we go. I do these cute little bees today. Aren't they cute? Okay, I got two of them. Now they need four hey, more and then I win. You want to show the live streamers? Oh yeah, sure. Where's the camera? Right there. Right there. And you there. Can, yep. I drew these honeybees. I hope it's in focus. I yeah, it is. It works. Okay. You might, folks, if you're watching, you might be wondering, wait, is this a live stream video? And no. When we do, we film these videos, we have separate cameras that are running just for the live streamers. You get to watch this. Watch us. <gasps> Typically late at night in the U.S. time when we're filming these videos. And they join in on all the fun. And they see what's really going on behind the scenes. And we're very unedited. Yep. And we do not, I do not want that honeybee to get out. Honey, that hive to get out. We need to at least get some kind of bee here. And so far, I'm not getting any. Bees do not seem very interested in my vegetable patch. I like the flowers. Look, I'm wearing flowers. I almost always wear these shirts. That's appropriate. You're no, wearing it is. flowers. You find you know. one shirt and it's really comfortable, so you get one wait, in every wait. color. Hold on. Oh, come on. Come on. <sighs> All right, it's your turn, Sharon. It's my turn. Okay. There's another rectangular chip that wants to fall. Oh, there it goes. Oh, rats. Not quite where I wanted it. Okay, my dad is a beekeeper. And John, his grandfather was a beekeeper. Was, very much so. And our son does not like honey. Oh, he spits it out. He doesn't like it. I, I don't know how that happened in our family. I don't know. I grew up on honey. I love honey. Honey's awesome. Honey cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold up, hold up. I think I have a push coming yet. Here I go. Oh, oh, come on. I got the mystery bag. 
And I just set John ah, tremendously. Here's your mystery bag. By the way, I hope you put trolls in it. I hope I did too. We'll never know if the trolls are there or not. <laughs> and we find out John didn't put trolls in there. Because that's how you get a bonus. If no trolls come out. There's no bonus. You're going to get them. You're going to get like four bees. I don't think so. You are. I'm pretty sure. Unless I can make every push count. I have to get those black chips off on the inward push. Here they go, push. here they go, here they go. If I don't get it on the inward push, then it's just going to fall and it'll be poor John. No bees in my veggie patch. There you go, there That's you go. That's a push. Dude, you got two. I'm tied. I'm tied. I told you. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, I should have pushed that on the right. Two and two. Two and two. Now, this is 2021. And during 2020, we're bakers. We bake bread, we bake anything. If it's baked, we bake our own. And we were having a heck of a time getting sugar. So we converted all our recipes to honey. Oh, that's oh. a good push. <gasps> nice. Man, that, that was terrible. So we've been going through a lot of honey. Bunch of quarters, no bees for you. Oh, I really, my favorite honey is always whoever's the closest to our house. I like to support our local honeybees. That bounced. Yeah, I'm setting you up. You're going to win this game tonight because I keep setting you up. But that's okay. Uh, I had the fun of drawing pretty, these cool yeah, honeybees. They're so cute. Well, all the bees are on the right at this point. Here comes a push. And it's John's turn. And we're, we're really out of, there's only that one last chip here on the right that's going to push it all. <gasps> that wall kind of dissolved right there. It was that, pretty the cool. The wall was really intended to be like a big honeycomb. And it was from the usual wall so it would look honeycomb-ish. Well, it was really cool. You could see through it. Yes. And uh, we don't know yet what video we're going to use for the intro, but one of them you can actually we film it and you can see inside through the wall as part of the intro so hopefully that one came out okay but you never know until we're in editing they don't want to know that because by the time do. that we get they to do. that point we've already done it. that's true actually oh, oh there we there go. go no 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 oh, oh it flipped oh, over it flipped over it folded okay oh you got it you got it oh it just oh. did it should have put that quarter in a little faster, Karen. You no, know, I was watching. I saw that you were the There's my honey. third honeybee. I wasn't going to steal your push. Now, in front of our house, we have a lav several lavender bushes. And the bees love lavender. They love it. I love watching the bees work in that lavender. And they're so busy. You can get right up to them and watch them. They are so busy with that lavender. They don't care. They're not going to bother you. As long as you're just watching, they're cool with it. Now, one year we decided to try to grow peppers. And this is a brand new neighborhood. And let's see, what was the pepper species we were growing? It was the uh, poblanos? Yeah, poblanos. Yeah, poblano peppers. And we we planted them in a pot right they were doing behind a wall, nice behind the lavender. The giant wall, giant flowers, and the bees never visited. They didn't know we were here. This is nope. a new neighborhood. We have zero pollinators. We had to take like an artist paintbrush and pollinate the flowers ourselves. That worked. But now that the lavender has taken off and is nice and big and healthy, the bees are well aware of us. That's right. We could probably grow the peppers again and it would be hunky dory. Hopefully. All right, you're, you're pushed, Sherry. Okay. Oh! I got, I took your push, but nothing fell. Nothing fell. A thousand coin push the bucks again. And I did mention this was suggested by channel member GS. And when I say member, everyone, we don't have viewers. We have members, we have participants. 
because a lot of our games actually are suggestions from people watching these videos and we love getting those suggestions so if you have any ideas for a coin pusher game please comment in this video if, if i may interrupt one thing we need okay. to can let me clear that out yeah so on youtube there the term member means something specific like you can me youtube has memberships to channels oh well, we, we don't, don't do, do that. that we don't, we don't do, that. do that no way we're making friends around the world and i don't really want to pay to be my friend good golly i wouldn't want to pay to be someone's friend nope. so we're just here and we love getting game ideas and suggestions from viewers we do we oh. have some of Please. some of the most creative people watch this channel yeah so please comment on youtube or send us an email winner we play you win.com with any game ideas you might have and did you tell us you know and if you, on the if right. you couldn't follow your rules about the mystery right, bag right. to go to we play you win.com and I see did. all the rules okay. i think that was the mystery bag trips didn't it <clears throat> there was a lot of bang that was here's your bonus play i got a bonus play well you want to wait till your hand is empty no. so you got it all right Okay, the bonus hole triggered. Usually, that's very obvious on our channel because someone is supposed to load that bonus hole with trolls. And that's not me. Oh, I'm setting John up. That was coin pusher box. But when the bonus hole triggers, you get an extra $5 turn because we take turns. I play $5, John plays $5, we trade off. Now, did you ever work the honeybee hives? I did when I was little. When I was a kid, we lived in Illinois and we had very gentle honeybees, but we moved to Florida and a lot of the honeybees in Florida were Africanized and they are very mean. And my dad said, nope, no kids are going to be working on this. Oh, you are going to win because you're about to get one, two, three more honeybees. Your turn. Six honeybees to win. And that means the game will be over. They're all the right side. I just need three more. Yep. So what did your dad do? Did, now, didn't your dad have one beehive that he had to actually destroy? That was that was in the last couple of years. He had one hive of bees, one one colony that was so aggressive, he was afraid it was going to kill someone. I mean, people would be very far away from it, and the bees would go after them for no reason at all. Just walking quietly very far away from the hive, the bees would and seek them out and attack them. That, that's, I get one more push. And then all, not do any good. all the nope. decades, it's turn share. decades, 40 years or so of keeping bees, he's never had a colony of that. And he actually had to uh, set the colony on fire. You couldn't get near it. 10,000 coin push, oh, that's 100 coin pusher bucks. Excuse me. So that was sad. That honeybee might be yours, dear. Nope, it's yours. Oh yeah, that's yours. Unless something really weird happens right now. That, that's your honeybee. So when you, you when you were when you did work some of the bee, beehives, what was your favorite part? Um Back in like doing the way you well, it was just it was cool. You, you you puff smoke, and the smoke just makes them kind of like drowsy, and they get even less aggressive than they were. And my dad would open up the box and pull out a frame and see how full things are, and just seeing these frames that we previously put in are completely empty, and they're completely all sealed. And push on the right. The front. That's really cool. Push on the right, and that's my last push. Do I get that B? And nope, Sierra, you're up. Okay, here we go. Also, when we lived in Illinois, the honey was all clover honey. It was very, very light, light yellow honey. 
And when we moved to Florida, there was a lot of wildflower and orange blossom. And the honey was very dark. It had an almost, almost licorice taste to it. So it's very interesting. And I know I've, I've seen beekeepers online talking about um, hiring their bees out to work canola fields. To do, like canola, like they do the cooking oil. Yeah, oh, you be. got a bee, Sherry. You know what, when they go down the chute, it looks like they're flying. They're bouncing along. It looks like they're fluttering down the chute. But bees that work canola fields, the honey is not usable. Now, did you ever have to, did, did your father always do the uh, scraping of the, the comb, or did you ever do that too? My dad did because he had a better hand. You just take a nice, sharp, long, skinny knife, you set it on the top of the, wood, the frames are rectangle with a couple of wires in the middle, and the bees build all in there to pull it all in. And then they cap each cell off with wax. And to get the honey out, and you a have push. To, there we go. Yeah. You cut all those working. caps off. So you just take a, a knife point pusher box. and you cut all the way along one broad side of the frame, and it, then the cells are all open. And you put it in an extractor, which my dad made his own. It was powered by a big electric drill. You put the frames in, and it spins like clothes in a washing machine spin cycle. And all the honey gets like, like being on a carnival ride. It's all blown out of the cells. It's really cool. Then we just run it through a filter so there's no unexpected things. And into jars. Your turn. All right. It's going to take a while to work on these honeybees. And it looks like the hive on the left is heading into the fast zone. It, it may not take long for the hive to exit. Oh, yes. See, it? it's kind of right there on the left. Oh, we're tied. Yeah, we are tied. That's cool. Honeycomb is something you enjoy chewing eating. like gum, man. Well, not eating it, you oh, chew yeah. on it and then you get it out. And I love when we buy candles for our house. I don't like scented candles. I like beeswax candles. Yeah, that's right. That's what usually we get. Hmm. You have to find someone who has beeswax for you because it's. Oh, that left side just cleared up. We're in trouble. The beehive is going to start really booking it now. 100 coin pusher bucks, 1,000 coin pusher bucks. Hogs are out of the way. Okay, I've got a bunch of there. Oh, my dangler jumped off at the pond. <laughs> too. Now, if you had a choice between honeycomb or freshly cut sugar cane, which would you rather chew on? I really don't do the super sweet. I wouldn't be like short on sugar cane at this point. But That's sugar true. cane isn't like super sweet. Honey is way sweeter than sugar cane. It really is. It really Your is. Your turn, babe. But I think I'd end up breaking a teeth on sugar cane at this point. My dad also grows sugar cane. And he my feeds dad that sugar cane to his, his cows. cows. He got rid of his cattle. Well, once upon a time, a few years ago, his yes. cattle lived on sugar cane and citrus. And, and citrus, right? Yes, and their meat tasted different. It was like but you, you have to understand, sweet. my dad, when I was a kid, my dad would put sugar on frosted flakes. I'm not kidding. He's my, he's my kind of sweet tooth. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, hold on, wait. I might get a push. I might get a push. Your turn, John. Those, these bees here in the middle, they are caught in that clog zone, unfortunately. They are. I don't know. Well, if, if you can get, if you can get this thousand chip to drop, that 
guy next to him will start Yeah, they will. They'll start buzzing over there, right? Come on, I've got some nice fresh, fresh tomatoes. Who doesn't love a nice fresh tomato plant? Well, they have that opportunity to go after my beautiful flowers. Yeah. Why would they want zucchini when they can have beautiful flowers? Oh. Okay. Yeah, you never hear about zucchini honey or squash honey or. But you, they go after wildflowers. They do go after wildflowers. Over. Uh, I'm trying to think of those orange blossoms. Where is it? Yeah, have we seen orange blossom, honey? I already talked yeah, about that. Yeah, you talked that. about that. That's why it's in my head. He's a good listener. Well, I knew it was. It came from somewhere tonight. And here comes a nice push. Oh, I set John up really nicely. Hold on, I get another little nudge. Your turn. Go ahead. You know you're gonna get some. Well, I don't think I'm getting any of those bees tonight. I think that. Hive on the left is going to go ahead and book its way on out of here. That wall came down really quick tonight. Walls do that. They do. Walls do not stay. Towers stay a long time. That's why a lot of my walls are actually towers with connectors in between. So that our structures aren't gone instantly. Last push on the right. Is nice. Wow, there are so many bees. This is and yours. And we're going to lose here. Okay, I'm going. I'm just kind of playing across to see what happens. Oh, here comes a push. Ooh, Another clog on the left. It is removed. 100 point pusher box. Let's see what I can do here. Come on. I love honeybees. Though. I've never been afraid of honeybees. They're not like, like yellow jackets or wasps or hornets that go after you and sting you for fun. Honeybees, the last thing she wants to do is sting you because she'll die if she stings you. Your turn. I don't know if she's aware of that or not. Did you, ever help your, did you ever help your dad catch a, uh, a live queen? Like did he ever well, get a call? Like those we calls went with from... animal control when people would have a swarm in their yard. Please, folks, if you have a swarm of honeybees in your yard, don't spray poison on them. They're really, yeah, really great going. for us. And once you've sprayed poison on them, they're useless to anyone. And don't spray them with water. They can't fly if you spray them with water. Um, just, you can try calling animal control, and they usually have someone, a beekeeper on file, who will come and will be so happy to take that warm off of your hands and you might be able to make friends with a beekeeper which means an awesome source of honey. Local honey is always the best. Fresh honey is always the best. Local honey is the best. I don't think any of these bees are going to fly over to our fields today. Though. Well I'm having fun I, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, do I get Wait, I've that, got a you teaser. You got a right teaser. there. It's not going anywhere, though. Boom, 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 boom. No, go ahead, John. All right, let me create that loop cam from your turn. Maybe it gets a little vibration. It did not. No. Well, I guess I get to get the dangler. If I drew these honeybees today, and they turned out pretty They're really cute. cute. And the beehives. My dad's beehives did not look like that. That's a traditional style beehive. Modern beehives just look like white boxes. So if you're ever driving out in the country and you see some white boxes, that's what you're looking at, beehives. This is your push. That hive is moving. It is. I think it's cool that most modern beekeepers lease their hives out to farmer fields. I think well, it's really cool. some do. I don't think it's much. I think a lot of them do, just to... A lot do. I don't think it's most, though. No, my dad has had bees stolen. Oh, really? he, has, he has a brand that um, you stamp your number, you burn it into your frame, into the boxes, to identify your hives. I did well, not know that. Yeah, but he had, he had a bunch of bees stolen last year. Hey, I learned something new. 
careful with your head. He gets a kiss if he learns something new. From you. From you. Or you learn something new about me. That's been a while. I'm kind of an open book. Mm. How about that? There, I might have a few surprises for you, though. I'm not sure what they would be. I was just trying to figure out what that kiss tasted like. Mm. Tasted like soup. Well, we did. You did make soup today. Soup kiss. At least it had nice tickly whiskers. Well, there you go. All right, final push. Is that hive? Oh, game The hive is off, but we're tied. We're tied. We can play until somebody has to beat us. Well, I think the bees have... Or we could just say that's it, that's a game, or we could play until there's a tiebreaker. I think we have a tie, and it's official. It's official? I think so. It's official tie. Okay. We can have ties. We don't have to have a winner. Okay. Because you know what? Hey, we've got two fields. The bees came and visited both fields. That oh, sounds good wanna, to me. You wanna ask a question, a mystery bag question. All right, folks, mystery bag question today. Let's talk We're about- We're never prepared for these. Oh yeah. We think we'd get better about this. We've done a lot of these games. You think? His all right, ears folks, turn all red when I, when mystery I bag spot. question today. Well, my idea is how many legs does a bee have? We didn't talk about that in today's live stream, but it might be something you should know. How many legs does a bee have? Leave your comment on YouTube the next 24 hours. Oh, Sherry's looking at me and saying, well, that's not a good mystery bag question. Do you like honey? Are you a person who likes honey or are you a person who doesn't like honey? If you like honey, what's your favorite use of honey? If you don't like honey, that's okay. Just comment within 24 hours of this game going live. Ignore what John was saying. Comment your answer on YouTube, comment on this video on YouTube within 24 hours of it going live and tell me what you think about honey. Because I love honey, I do. What do you like to use honey for or is honey the most disgusting thing ever? There's Honey's not, great, there, I love there's, honey. There's not a wrong answer. Um, I had fun playing this. It's nice to have a tie sometimes. It doesn't happen that often. Uh, I hope you have some fun today. Be safe, be healthy, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I need some honey, too. It's really good. Mustard bag better. Yeah. It's a great baking substitute, too, just in case you were wondering. Alexa.